What's up, pups? It is I, Coyote Jake. Happy 4th of July. America! Is that right, Totodile? Totodile says America's awesome. Also, in lieu of uh, the game I was playing earlier, which was Condemned Criminal Origins, which kind of sucks, to be honest with you, I'm going to go ahead and start one of my favorite games. That is going to be Fallout 3. And what better place to do Fallout 3 than right now? It's 4th of July, so let's get to it. As you can see, I am out of Vault 101, mainly because that area is just more of a tutorial and gives you kind of a basic plot, and it's kind of tedious, and I skipped it. Anyway, so here's a basic rundown for those of you who want to know what happened inside Vault 101. Um, you were born. Actually, no. Ha. Spoiler, you're not born in Vault 101. Uh, sadly, your mom passes away. Uh, you're raised by Liam Neeson, who takes you to Vault 101. That's where you're at. When you're older, your dad escapes for some reason. Now you're following him. They kick you out or basically make you leave, and boom, you're in Capital Wasteland. Yay! Welcome to the America. Ugh. Is anybody else excited about Fallout 4? That was uh, recently brought up at E3. Uh, you raise your hand or swing your bat. Yeah. That's right. Did I, ooh, did I hear something? Did I hear something? Anyway, uh, I'm so happy to be playing Fallout 3. This is like one of my favorite games. Uh, yeah, but with what's kind of funny, like with this game and also with like games like Skyrim and stuff like that, like I get so caught up in um, the side quests that I've never actually beat the game, like the, the main storyline. I've never actually beat it. I got some stuff over here I want before I head over to Megaton. That's Megaton. Last time I played this, I walked all the way around it and got lost. That is not happening. I see it right there. Good old Megaton. And so, yeah, when I was playing, like, when I played this a lot earlier, I really, and I'm probably going to do it here, I just love sniping. The VAT system, ugh, so cool. And I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do with uh, Fallout 4. Uh, I believe Bethesda is still working with that one, too. So, eee, the excitement. Yeah. There it is. Got to get a homer drool. I needed that. I'm just going to explore this little part of this desolated town. Uh, just to kind of give you kind of a, I guess, a basic rundown of the plot. If you've never heard of Fallout 3 or any of the Fallout games, essentially this is like an alternate universe where uh, there was a big, big war, World War 3, that was mainly between the three superpowers, or at least the powers that had uh, nuclear capabilities. Uh, it'd be like China, Russia, and USA. 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 So basically, they just blow each other up, and vaults were built. Well, basically, they were built to kind of help people. Uh, like little security places, you bought a ticket and you got in. There's a little bit more of a darker history to those. What's this guy talking about? Darker history to that. I don't know. I'm just walking around talking. Darker history to the vaults themselves, but essentially, that was put out to the public, so. That's all I'm going to put out to you for now. I'll get into the darker, more sinister elements of them later. Uh, but actually, they were built without uh, people thinking, you know, vault didn't think they didn't think there really was going to be a World War III. Well, they were completely wrong, as you can tell. So, you got forced out. You're looking for your dad. His name is James, but he's Liam Neeson. Don't let anybody fool you. you go and see his Nuka-Cola. Here, hey, look at that. Three Nuka-Colas. There we go. Well, let's do this. This is a cool view. <laughs> My dopey looking dude. You exit the vault at about 19 years old, so depending on how you built your character. I tried to make him look as much as me as possible, but I mean, it's it's not great. It's not super great, but it's alright. So, alright. Enough. Enough jacking around. Let's go ahead and continue this quest. So, oh, look at that big old ant. I hate ants. I have ants every summer. I want to hit that dead ant. Hey, buddy. Can I come in? Thanks. Super cool of you to open that door. Cool place. Something tells me the uh, tetanus might be a real issue here. What gave it away? Where are you going? Hey, I'm over here, buddy. Come over here. You wait. There we go. Howdy, Lucas. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Oh, you like me? You're, you're sweet. Right. I am all so right. Welcome to Megaton. Well, thank you. Just holla if you need something. Holla. I really want to make a comment on the hat, but I want that hat. So I'll just Friendly be nice. And well 
I've no reason to be mean. Just fine. Oh. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Cool. Right. Got it. I'm glad we understand each other. Now. Look for my dad. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd have Well, that's pretty much... Hey, there's a bomb, by the way. Uh, we'll talk to this guy later. Carry on. Thank you, sir. Just gonna bring up old Pip-Boy. I don't really want to bring the bat out. Bat's fun. It works for what I want it to do. But let's go ahead and see if I can find my best pistol. There it is. All right. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Well, we've never met. Good to see you. You're weird. Talk to me. So part of the problems with the wasteland is that there's a lot of radiation and there's a lot of really bizarre animals like this disturbing two-headed cow with like nasty ball sack teats. It's just ugh. Uh, hey, look at that. A bomb. I actually didn't know this, and then I did some research. These actually look like the uh, bombs that were dropped on uh, in Japan during World War II. Fat Man and Little Boy. Um, so I thought that was kind of kind of interesting. So they modeled a lot of this stuff after the 40s and 50s era. Uh, these guys, this Confessor Cromwell, worship this stupid thing, even though it still could go off at any moment, which is why this place is called Megaton. That's more of an homage to... Uh, Planet of the Apes, actually. But we are on a mission, and I need to go find and talk to Moriarty, who owns that right up there. He is the proprietor of Moriarty's pub and what have you. A brothel, I guess you could say. There's, there's one particular <clears throat> whore, I believe that's what the proper term is. Whore. <laughs> nice lady, I guess. Uh, bottle caps are the currency, as always. All right, let's see if I can actually do this right. Last time I goofed and I broke it. Okay. Okay. Let's just be careful. Ah, yes. Oh, I lost a little karma for sneaking. Ooh. He didn't see me. Okay, good. Basically, I'm sneaking in to kind of find out my dad. He's not going to really tell me out loud. Oh, I don't have enough science. So I'm going to have to open this door and get the password. And get the password. Here it is. That's all I want. Oh, my karma is just dropping like, like a rock. All right, let's go ahead and get in here. Oh, come on. So sneaky. So I'm looking for visitors. Looking for James. There he is. Look at that. He even says Vault 101. So basically what he's saying is that James came here. I uh, was asking, like trying to figure out what the world is going on. Because it's been a while since he's been out of the vault. And he headed off to Galaxy News Radio. Talked to 3 Dog. 3 Dog is really cool. Well, that's pretty much it. There's really nothing. Just going to go ahead and walk out here and talk to a couple people. Let's just go ahead. Oh, sorry, sir. Moriarty, at <laughs> I love this guy's Welcome accent. <laughs> like it doesn't match his face. Ugh. Spackwood little bird. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna click through this. Uh, what's all this about? Oh, look at that. Galaxy News Radio is some loud. Got it. Yep. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. I do like that they've pretty much voiced most of the people that you interact with. I think that's really cool. Uh, basically, I don't even have to talk to him. I just had to pretty much figure that out. So I'm gonna leave. Bye. Let me just point that pistol at your face. Uh, there's one other person I want to talk to. I mean, I could talk to that guy. I'll talk to that guy later. We don't like that guy. I'm shoot his hat off right now. Chew, chew. Open the door. There we go. Gotcha. All right, we're gonna go talk to Morida. She's going to give us a handy little quest that's actually on the way to uh, Galaxy News Radio. Actually, which, uh, fun fact, Galaxy News Radio is the uh, Washington Monument. Here we are. But she she has a cool accent, too. Welcome to Supply. She's just hey, so darn helpful. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. <laughs> one of us. Good to meet you. Well, howdy. I'm Moira Brown. I run Crater Supply. 
But what I really like, do she do has an Irish name, but research. has a, uh, you know, Say, well, I guess for the area, she's more like a, a northwestern accent. Help well, she's out. just so yeah. darn dis happy to see you, don't you know? Uh, sure, I've got plenty to say about life in a vault. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, mm -hmm. or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Well, uh, <laughs> these are my options. Uh, it was paradise down there. No fears, no worries. Until Dad left. My daddy left me. Uh, this outside place is amazing. Uh, I was sent as ambassador from the Utopia Vault 101. Bow before my glory. How do you people live out here? I haven't found food dispenser anywhere. It's cramped, dark, food suck, good riddance. Uh, I mean, it kind of was a paradise, but I'll say it was cramped, dark, and the food suck. That's terrible. I know, right? But it'll be great for a forward. Perfect. So in that sense, it's great. You are just so up and down, aren't you? Here. And here's the armored suit. Oh, thank you. Just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. I forgot she gave you that. That'll be good for the book. <gasps> yeah. You help me with the research? I can pay you. I like that. Fun. I'm kind of on for the fun thing. Pay's cool. Uh, what's this book you're working on? Well, it's, a it's a survival guide. That, you I need my assistance. No, then they just yell a lot. Okay. Sounds great. Can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm. All right. Things like where it is and it Looking for food, food <laughs> stuff. All right, let's uh, getting food. Well, Food and medicine. and medicine. So we're going to go down to the yes. Super Duper Mart. Got it. Okay, I'll check the Super Duper oh, Mart. Great. Awesome. Anything Ooh. else? Nope, I'm good. I have to go. See ya. Ooh, you know what? Actually, I want to talk to her because so, I need to buy some things. She also sells you? stuff. Oh, I haven't got around to it yet. Oh. Ah, uh, do you have any specialty items? Do I A rocket launcher. That's cool. Exactly. Uh, there it is. Uh, all right. Good hunting. Thank you. Have. All right, so let's go ahead and put on what I bought. Yeah, put on those sexy sunglasses. Cause it's gonna be—it's you know—it's sunny outside. There's a nuclear holocaust essentially. We should be wearing safety vision. All right. Not that you can see my face, but you can tell I'm—I'm I'm wearing. Oh wow! Look how far that zooms out. Woo! <laughs> he walks funny. It makes me laugh. What is it? All right, see you, buddy. You looking for the mayor? No, I'm not looking for you. You can. It's not always about you, bro. Okay, so I got what I needed. I've changed my viewpoint, and I am outside on my way to Galaxy News Radio. But first, on my way to Galaxy News Radio, we're gonna stop by Super Duper Mart. Finish that quest. It's pretty hairy in there. It's pretty cool, actually. Like your first real encounter. I mean, you might run into some, like that giant ant that's just coming my way right now. That one. Oh, that's creepy. I hate ants. Did you even see me? Yep. No, it saw me. All right. Let's see if I can just pop it a couple times in the head. Oh, or twice. Wow. And that's why I love. Ah. Imagine with that with a sniper rifle. This game actually, now that I think about it, it sometimes it'll give you like a uh, bullet time view if you want to, if I have a lack of a better word, where it'll follow the bullet to the target. Generally does it with uh, sniper rifles or like, uh, I don't know, rifles essentially, not like combat rifles. It might. It's been a while. I can't remember exactly. But I think they use that for the Sniper Elite games. Like, that's all the Sniper Elite games are. Just these amazing bullet time sniper shots. And I actually really like that game, too. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that this influenced that. If it came out after it. I might even be in the name of the studio. You know, I don't really know it that well. But I thought that was really cool. So we're looking for... I think it's that building down there. I think that's what it is. Hold on, let me look at my map. Look at the old map Oops, notes, notes, world map. Right there, yep. Right to it. Okay, so it is right there. Boy, this place is pretty. Like, I mean, for when this game came out new, right, this game was still really, really cool. And there's so many mods. I might grab a couple of uh, 
mods for this game since I've gone got it on the PC, yeah. and uh, make it run, make it look a little bit smoother. If that makes any sense. But some stuff goes down over here. Well, there's a caravan. Whatever those things are called. Last time I was out here, this freaking bus exploded. Cause, ah, what's happening? A scavenger is going after a raider, it looks like. Oh my gosh. Don't shoot me, I didn't do anything. Whoa. Okay, so we're all cool, right? <laughs> can, we, can we talk without getting shot at? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Well, you're... Uh, I guess what do you got for sale? Price. Nope, 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 nope. Do you have any cool... I need a rifle. I want a good rifle. You have a sawed-off shotgun and a flame. It's just... Meh. Meh. You have nothing. Bye. See ya. I'm gonna go see what that body had on it. Since you don't want to loot it, I'll loot him. Hunting rifle! Yay! Bottle caps, rounds, brass knuckles. Alright. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting waders. Ha 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 shoot him in the face. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Or your torso. No, I need I need the face. No, get out. Get out. Get out. Gonna come around here. Sneaky sneaky. Raiders are always bad guys. It's hard. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, that would hurt if I get hit by that. Luckily, he's like a mile away with that thing. Okay. Nope. Time to not be here. Ow. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, pistol. Where's he go? Where'd he go? All right, I'm going to switch to first person just because this is, this is hairy. Ah, okay, found him. I found him. We found him. I found him. Everybody calm down. Hit him again. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, jeebus. Ah, okay. All right. Biggest problem is down. Let's go and throw a couple stim packs. Oh, I feel so much better. All right. Can I switch... Can I switch my weapon? No, I cannot. Oh! Oh, he just picked it up! He picked it up! He picked it up! I'm goofing. Ah, ah, ah. Ugh. Ugh. God, that's a good weapon, too. I want that. I keep shooting the stupid weapon and not him. Ugh. Alright, buddy. Oh, wow. Apparently I shot him in the off button. He just fell over. All right. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Combat shotgun. Thank you. Junk food. Shotgun shells. Okay. That could have gone so much better. And now that I know that everybody knows I'm here. No, I don't want to. I don't want to wait. That's silly. I have one round left. I'm going to make it count. Sneak up on him. Nope, saw me. I think I'm gonna hit him. I think I'm gonna hit him. I missed! I missed! No, I didn't really miss. But that should have done way more damage. Uh, I didn't think this through. This was not well thought. Alright, now to do what my friend Charles has done before. Basically, his plan of action is always to run in with this bad boy. And do what I did, but I wanted to try it with the other gun. Like, pretty much point blank with a shotgun. Generally, yep, there it goes. <laughs> Generally gets the job done. Oh, I love this game. This game is so cool. Ah, what do you got? What do you got for me? Yes, 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 yes. All right, buddy. Oh, there's another guy. Where do you run off to? Well, that's... These are why raiders are shot on sight. They're just not good people. Now, oh, you gotta watch me hack. Uh, yeah. Science skills high enough. You have four tries to correct the... Alright, why not? 
Uh, oh, okay. So Origins is two out of seven. So that one's good. I don't really know. Dang it. Two attempts left. I don't... Alright, let's... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I forgot how to hack. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of ammo. Yes, 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 yes. Grenade, yes. Book, yes. Ah, what? It's, uh, excuse me? And, uh, oh! Excuse me. I can't believe I missed. There we go. You guys are freaking ninjas with baseball bats. Ugh. Alrighty. Okay, folks. That was interesting. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I think the next time you'll see me, I'll have cleaned out this area and we'll be on our way to Galaxy News Radio. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, there goes your head. Whoa, 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 whoa. I missed. I missed again. I don't want to die. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that, was, that was better. I feel happy. I'm going to go and put some more stim packs so I stop dying. And I leveled up. Woo. Go me. Anyway, folks, I am Coyote Jake. Thanks again for watching. Happy 4th of July. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Adios! Come on, water spout. Do anything. Or you stare at it. Just over. <laughs> <laughs>